If you've clicked on this video in the hopes that there's been some kind of announcement that there's going to be a Gilmore Girls movie or season 8, sorry to disappoint you but there hasn't been any such announcement. It seems like every time a member of the Gilmore Girls crew, mainly Lauren Graham, gets asked, they say something along the lines of, oh if everything fell into place maybe it could happen which I'm going to take as a no which I'm kind of glad. Firstly I don't think that Gilmore Girls would work as a movie and secondly having a whole eight season is unrealistic and also I think it's just been too long. It's time to put it to bed. I think any articles talking about the possibility of some kind of con continuation are just clickbait for crazy obsessed Gilmore Girls fans like me which is why I'm making this video on some thoughts I have of what my continuation in my own head would be. My first focus is going to be on the Emily and Lorelai relationship and it's definitely one of my favourite elements of the show because we have these two well fleshed out characters interacting in a way that's very true to who they actually are. In the final episode you do that get them kind of saying that they will continue to be in touch despite the glue of Rory not being there anymore. So my head canon is Lorelai and Luke have a wedding. It's it's completely the opposite from Lorelai and Chris's wedding as as in that it's really massive. Everyone is actually there. Most importantly Rory is there. And in my fantasy there's a moment at the reception where Emily and Lorelai are kind of a, a bit away from the crowd and Emily says something along the lines of I never thought I'd get to see you walk down the aisle after you broke up with Christopher, which is obviously a fairly snide comment to make, but that's Emily for you, and you have Lorelai looking slightly wounded, but she's not surprised because this is her mother after all, this is a scene we've seen play out before in the show, but then Emily has said something on the lines of, I hope you have a happy marriage and you have one that goes on for many years like I do with your father and Luke is a good man. So obviously as I said before, Laura and I and Luke get married, they continue to live in Stars Hollow, Laura and I continues to run the inn, she does occasionally travel to be in the consultant type role to other inns, so that's her career progressing a bit. They have a child, obviously at the end of the show we have Rory going off to join the Barack Obama campaign trail as a reporter and I kind of want to see Rory either set up her own website that has commentary on politics or get involved with one that's just starting out so she can be a really big part in shaping the vision of that website. Obviously a big part of the show is like mother like daughter with Lorelai and Rory so you've got the whole Lorelai starting from the bottom at start from the bottom now we're here starting from the bottom at the independence inn and then working her way up to eventually becoming the manager so I can see Rory like starting at the bottom of something and then working her way up as well. Relationship wise with Rory I'm not actually sure what I would want to happen. I could see Rory and reformed Jess like, working really well together because when he does come back he does say oh she was the one that motivated him to get his life together and obviously in turn he was the one that motivated her to go back to Yale. And just to wrap things up the most important detail out of all of this is that Lorelai gets a second dog because I absolutely love dogs and I just think every show should have more dogs. If you feel like there's a lack of Gilmore Girls on your dashboard you can follow my Tumblr which I'll link down below. If you're as obsessed with Gilmore Girls as I am, what would you want to happen to the characters post season 7? I hope all of you guys are drinking coffee, talking fast and doing well and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!